Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5, in module 5, we are working on lesson number 19. And that means that we are drawing kites and squares to clarify their attributes and to define kites and squares based on those attributes. But in reality, the homework kind of goes back and forth between kites and squares and rhombuses and rectangles. And I think the problems I'm actually going to do tonight, problems 2 and 3 of the homework, actually relate more to rhombuses and rectangles. So let's take a look. Problem number two, if rectangles, let's see, let's read, if rectangles must have right angles, explain how a rhombus could also be a rectangle. Hmm, so I gotta go back to think about what my definitions were for a rectangle and for a rhombus. So what I'd like you to do is maybe pause the video for a second and just think to yourself, what do I remember about the definition of a rectangle and what do I rem remember about the definition of a rhombus? Hmm. Okay. Well, what I'm remembering about a rhombus is that a rhombus is all about the sides, right? It's a quadrilateral where all the sides are of equal length. And what I'm remembering about rectangles is that it's not about the length of the sides, it's all about the angles. That a rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles, and the sides might be equal, or the two pairs of opposite sides might be completely unequal. Um, but it's all about those right angles. So it's weird. We have one, uh, one item here, the rectangle, that's all about the right angles. And we have rhombus that's all about the sides. So how could there be a rectangle that's a rhombus or a rhombus that's also a rectangle? Well, let's see. What if all four of the sides, so the sides have to be equal. Uh, what if all four sides met at right angles? Let's see. How would that look? Um, in fact, actually, look at number three. Draw a rhombus that is also a rectangle on grid paper. So let's see, a rhombus has to have four sides that are equal. So I'm going to make my sides, let's see, four units long. So let's see, I'm going to go one, two, three, four units long. There's four triangles long. And let's see, let me go four triangles wide, but I have to meet at a right angle. So let's see, one, two, three, four. And then I meet at another right angle, and I go one, two, three, four. And then this last right angle, one, two, three, four. And those are right angles. And those sides are all the same length, right? This is the same length as this, is the same length as this, is the same length as this. And so, let's see, is this a rectangle? Yep, one, two, three, four right angles. It is a rectangle. Is it a rhombus? Well, is it a quadrilateral? Yeah. And are all four sides of equal length? Yeah. You know what? <laughs> The point at which a rhombus is also a rectangle looks to be when they're both squares, right? Hmm. So let's see. Uh, how would I explain this in number two? I'm going to pause and think for a second. How, how would a rhombus also be called a rectangle? Well, if its sides met at right angles. then it would be a rectangle, right? Just like this right here. Oh, just like this. Fantastic. Well, that solves two problems with one good bit of thinking. And I'm going to leave the other problems, problems one and four, to you if your teacher assigned those for homework. So thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Take care.